Right, ladies and gentlemen, here you will find an explanation about exercise 33 on page number 170 about uh, how to factorize. Um, let me just look at the first one, x squared uh, plus x minus 20. Uh, please know that in front of the, uh, in between the plus and the x is number 1. Um, because here we need to use the product sum method. Why? Because it's like form x squared uh, plus x uh, minus or plus a random number. So um, we're going to look at the product where the answer needs to be minus 20. So this is the product and the sum needs to be 1. Alright, so if I think about products where the answer needs to be uh, minus 20, it could be uh, minus 4 times 5. I just took a random number because if I think about 20, I immediately think about 4 times 5, but it needs to be minus 20. So minus 4 times 5, that's minus 20. And if I add those two numbers, then you get minus 4 plus 5, then you get immediately 1, and that's what I need. So because uh, in blue, needs to be 1. So this is minus 20, and that was 1. So inside the brackets, x minus 4 and x plus 5. And if I multiply out those brackets, you get x squared plus x uh, minus 20. So this is the correct answer. Next one, exercise B. It is um, x squared plus x minus 6. Let me just make a table again. It's not necessary if you see it immediately, uh, but um, what is minus 6 together? Minus 3 times 2, maybe. Uh, it is minus 6. So this is minus 6, but if I add the two numbers, it needs to be 1. And if I add minus 3 plus 2, you get minus 1. So we are very warm at the answer, so it needs to be not minus 3 and 2, but 3 times minus 2, because that's together minus 6, and if I add them, you get 1, because uh, 3 plus minus 2 is just 1. So we have our answer. It needs to be x plus 3, because it was a positive 3, and x minus 2. If you write down x minus 2 times x plus 3, it's also correct. So both, both answers is possible. Exercise C. x squared minus x minus 12. Alright, so minus 12 could be, for example, minus 6 times 2, because that's minus 12. But if I add to those two numbers, you get minus 4 and it needs to be minus 1. So we need to change our numbers. Maybe uh, minus 3 times 4. Minus 3 plus 4, that's 1. All right, but it needs to be minus 1. So it is not minus 3, but 3, and it's not 4, but minus 4. And that's together minus 1. So we've, we have our answer. It needs to be x plus 3, and x minus 4. Alright, exercise D. Exercise D is x squared minus x minus 90. Alright, I'm gonna make a table again. Uh, 90, yeah, what is 90 together? For example, uh, 30 and 3 minus 30 times 3, that's minus 90, but if I add those two numbers, you get minus 27. So that's not the answer. Mm, something else, maybe uh, minus 50 times 6, because if I divide 30 by 2 and multiply 3 by 6, that's also uh, 90. Uh, and if I add those two numbers, you get minus uh, 9 so that's not the answer so we need to go on 
minus 10 and 9 maybe because that's minus 90 and if I add them yeah there you go that need that is minus 1 so x minus 10 and oh minus 10 and x plus 9 that's the one we need exercise e exercise e is x squared minus x sorry plus x uh, minus 110 all right 110 maybe minus 11 times 10 because that's minus 111 uh, 110 and if i add them we have minus 1 all right so we are very warm it needs to be 11 times minus 10 because that's one together so that's the answer x plus 11 and x minus 10 and that's it so the last one exercise f x squared minus x minus 2 so what needs to be inside the brackets the minus 2 times 1 because that's to get a minus 2 if I add them you get minus 1 and we have immediately the answer so x minus 2 and x plus 1 so what you need to do is to find the product from the last number so in this case it's minus 2 to find the product would needs to be answer minus 2 and if you have two numbers you need to add them to get minus 1 and if you find them you need to put them inside the brackets so this is exercise 33 so good luck